Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue our lesson in lecture 6 of 9. For lecture 6 of 9, we will discuss subtopic 5.3 inverse function. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to determine the inverse of exponential logarithmic function if it is exists. Find the domain and range of an inverse function. And the last one, sketch the graph of the function and its inverse at the same axis. Example 1. Given that fx equals to exponent to x minus 1, a show fx is 1 to 1 function. To show fx is 1 to 1 function or not, we will use algebraic approach. fx1 equals to fx2. Substitute x1 and x2 into the function. Exponent to x1 minus 1 equals to exponent to x2 minus 1. Simplify the equation. Exponent to x1 equals to exponent to x2. We can compare the power so 2x1 equals to 2x2. Therefore, x1 equals to x2. Since fx1 equals to fx2 for x1 equals to x2, therefore fx is 1 to 1 function. It is shown. For part B, we want to find f inverse. Use f composite f inverse equals to x. Substitute f inverse into the function exponent to f inverse minus 1 equals to x. Exponent to f inverse equals to x plus 1. 2 f inverse x equals to ln x plus 1. Therefore, f inverse x will be equals to 1 over 2 ln x plus 1. Part C, sketch the graph of fx and f inverse x in the same axis. Let's proceed with the graph of fx. First, state the domain of f. It is negative infinity to infinity. The second one, we want to find the horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote is at y equals to negative 1. Don't forget to find y-intercept. When x equals to 0, y is equals to 0. Now let's plot the point and horizontal asymptote. Draw the horizontal asymptote. The intercept is at origin 0, 0. This is the graph for fx, exponential function. Then we draw straight line of y equals to x. So the horizontal asymptote at y equals to negative 1 will be vertical asymptote at x equals to negative 1. The intercept at origin also will be at origin. And now, let's sketch the graph. So, this is the graph of f inverse x. Then, we want to state the domain and range for fx and f inverse. Domain f is equal to range of f inverse that is negative infinity to infinity. Range of fx is starting from negative 1 to infinity. 
it is equals to domain of F inverse. Example 2, given that fx equals to 2 times 3 to the power of x minus 1, A, find f inverse. f composite f inverse is equals to x. Substitute f inverse. 2 times 3 to the power of f inverse x minus 1 equals to x. Simplify the equation. It is equals to x plus 1. 3 to the power of f inverse x equals to x plus 1 over 2. So f inverse x will be equals to log x plus 1 over 2 with base 3. B. Sketch the graph of fx and f inverse x in the same axis. We proceed with the graph of fx. First, state the domain. The domain for function f is negative infinity to infinity because it is an exponential function. Second, we find horizontal asymptote from function f. The value is when y equals to negative 1. Don't forget to find y-intercept and x-intercept. Y intercept when x equals to 0, you will get y equals to 1. Then when y equals to 0, x is equals to negative 0 0.631. Plot the points. Horizontal asymptote is at y equals to negative 1. This is the intercept, x and y. Then sketch the curve. D is for fx. Then, draw straight line of y equals to x. Reflect all the points. Horizontal asymptote okay, will be vertical asymptote. What happened to x and y intercept? x intercept is at 1 and y intercept at negative 0 0.631. Join the point. So, this is the graph for f inverse x. For C, state the domain and range for fx and f inverse x. We already find domain for f in part B. Domain f is equal to range of f inverse that is negative infinity to infinity. For range f is equal to domain f inverse, it starts from the asymptote. That is negative 1 to infinity. Example 3. Given that fx equals to 2 plus ln x plus 1. A. Determine whether fx is 1 to 1 function. Let's use algebraic method. fx1 is equals to fx2. Substitute into the function, so it will be 2 plus ln x1 plus 1 equals to 2 plus ln x2 plus 1. Simplify. We can eliminate the value of 2, so ln x1 plus 1 equals to ln x2 plus 1. We compare the elements inside ln. x1 plus 1 is equal to x2 plus 1. Therefore, x1 equals to x2. So, we can conclude that. Therefore, fx is 1 to 1 function. For b, find f inverse x. Use f composite f inverse equals to x. Substitute f inverse, so 2 plus ln f inverse x plus 1 is equals to x. Simplify. 
is equals to x minus 2. We change ln to exponent. f inverse x plus 1 is equals to exponent x minus 2. Therefore, f inverse x is equals to exponent x minus 2 minus 1. C. Sketch the graph of fx and f inverse x in the same axis. We proceed with graph of fx. First, take the domain. We take the element inside ln x plus 1 greater than 0. So, your x is greater than negative 1. Therefore, domain of f is equal to negative 1 to infinity. We also can get the vertical asymptote. It is when x equals to negative 1. Now, let's find x and y intercept. For x intercept, when y equals to 0, x is equals to negative 0.865. While for y intercept, when x equals to 0, y is equals to now let's plot the points and vertical asymptote. D is the vertical asymptote at x equals to negative 1. Plot the intercept and sketch the curve for fx. Now draw straight line of y equals to x. We reflect all the points and also the asymptote. For f inverse, it has horizontal asymptote at y equals to negative 1. Plot the intercept. 2 will be on x axis and negative 0.865 at y axis. Sketch the curve. This is the curve for f inverse x. For D, state the domain and range for fx and f inverse. The domain is from part C. Domain f is equal to range of f inverse that is negative 1 to infinity. And the range for f is equal to domain f inverse that is all the real numbers from negative infinity to infinity. Example 4, given that fx equals 2 log 2x plus 1 with base 2, without finding inverse, sketch the graph of fx and f inverse x in the same axis. First, we want to find the domain, so we check the element inside log 2x plus 1 greater than 0. So we will get x greater than negative 1 over 2. We can get the domain from this value. So the domain is negative 1 over 2 until infinity. We also can get vertical asymptote from the domain. That is x equals to negative 1 over 2. Now let's find x and y intercept. For x intercept, when y equals to 0, x is also equals to 0. Same as y intercept. X equals to 0, y equals to 0. It means that the intercept only at the origin, 0, 0. Let's sketch the graph. First, we draw the vertical asymptote at x equals to negative 1 over 2. And then sketch the graph that pass through the origin. So, this is the graph of fx. Then, we draw straight line of y equals to x. Then the vertical asymptote of x equals to negative 1 over 2 will be horizontal asymptote at y equals to negative 1 over 2. Sketch the curve that also pass through the origin. This is the graph of f inverse x. B. State the domain and range for fx and f inverse. For domain, we already find the domain for fx in 
but a it is negative 1 over 2 to infinity and for range of f and domain for f inverse it is all the real numbers negative infinity to infinity <laughs>